start here? Good. Okay. He grasped me firmly but gently, just above my elbow, and guided me into a room, his room. <laughs> and then he quietly shut the door, and we were alone. <laughs> <laughs> he approached me soundlessly from behind and spoke in a low, reassuring voice close to my ear. Just relax. Without warning, he reached down, and I felt his strong, calloused hand start at my ankles, gently <laughs> probing and moving upward along my calves, slowly but steadily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my breath caught my throat. I knew I should be afraid, but somehow I didn't care. His touch was so experienced, so sure. And when his hands moved up onto my thighs, I gave a slight shudder, <laughs> and I partly closed my eyes. My pulse was pounding. I felt his knowing fingers caress my abdomen, my ribs cage, and then, as he cupped my firm, full breast in his hands, I inhaled sharply, probing, searching, knowing what he wanted. He brought his hand to my shoulders, slid them down my tingling spine, and into my panties. <laughs> <laughs> Although I knew nothing about this man, I felt oddly trusting and expectant. <laughs> this is a man, I thought, a man used to taking charge, a man not used to taking no for an answer, <laughs> a man who would tell me what he wanted, a man who would look into my soul and say, Okay, ma'am, all done. <laughs> my eyes snapped open. He was, he was standing in front of me, holding my purse and smiling. You can board your flight now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, that was sick.